neat. Very neat. Guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Guitar Arsenal. Uh, we're going to be talking today about a vintage effect. Uh, this is a Boss CS2 compressor. Uh, these are made in the 80s. Unfortunately, they're not made anymore, but they're excellent units. In my opinion, one of the best compressors uh, that there possibly is on the market. They're wonderful. Well, they're not on the market anymore, but in terms of that are available, uh, they're wonderful. Uh, we're going to be just showing you some of the ins and outs of this particular compressor. I'm going to make sure that all the other effects uh, in the chain are disengaged. I do have my pedal board up a little bit higher so I can mani manipulate. That's a big word for me, some of this stuff. Um, this is the just dry signal going through a Mesa Boogie Mark V. This is a 52 custom, uh, custom shop Fender Tele. Um, all right, there's our dry signal, pretty much everything out. Middle position. Bridge. Alright, so a compressor basically takes those cleans. If you notice the way that that amplifier is set up with that clean tone, if I just put on the neck pickup and just sort of... It has that kind of like open, airy, fendery, clean kind of sound, which is wonderful. There's nothing wrong with that type of clean tone. It's nice and open and airy. But one thing I notice on the cleans is when you start going after some of those kind of single notes, they, they don't really have a lot of definition and clarity like they would when you add a compressor. I'm going to sort of try to demonstrate the difference. Um, hopefully you can sort of hear the difference. So, like if I just take a little, I don't know, like a... Let's add a little bit of reverb to that. Reverb, just a splash that's on the back of the Mark V. All right, let's add the compression in there. Now, it's kind of weird. The best way to describe a compressor is it takes the, it takes the signal and it kind of like squashes it. So instead of having that loose and unfocused, fender, open kind of sound, it almost gives it the, the kind of spank that you get out of like a nice overdrive or distortion pedal. But it only does it to your cleans, which is really cool. And in my, in my opinion, a compressor um, really kills on the cleans. So here's the compressor engaged, and we are going to just sort of go through some of the sounds. <laughs> That sustain. That is neat. In my book, that's neat. It grabs those chords, pulls them out of the air, right into the amp. And it, it changes the playing dynamics of the guitar in terms of how it interfaces with the amp a heck of a lot. So that's one thing that I really like about compressors, and, and also just this particular pedal. Um, it is a buffered circuit, so you don't have true, true bypass in a boss uh, circuit. I'm going to turn that, that uh, sound indicator off on my tuner. All right. But with this, it really does help those notes kind of jump off the...
wonderful. You've got controls for level, attack, and sustain. So you'll notice if I disengage the compressor, and you'll hear a lot of those kind of like harsh pick nuances without the compressor on. So if I take it, especially if I get into sort of like some of the hear that pick all right take that same thing engage your compressor That's how you can really hear that effect engage is when you're like letting those chords ring out. It's just wonderful. All right, there's that chord. Same chord without the compressor. Don't get me wrong, that sounds nice. It really does. Same thing with the compressor. I guess is the biggest thing. So we'll go through some of the settings. Uh, level, basically, I'm going to unplug this tuner for a moment because it's making racket at me. Um, the level basically obviously controls the level of the volume of the effect when it's engaged. So if you have a clean sound like this, if you want to engage the pedal and you want it to boost, then obviously you can either level that volume out you wouldn't want to have a dip in the level, so if I take the level and, and break it back out, that kind of sounds like poo. So if I go, that don't sound right, right? It should at least be the level of your line signal. So I'm going to blend those two right now, or I can make that, that level go a little bit higher to kind of bump out. So if you have a clean sound that's nice and airy and you want a nice, tight, focused, uh, clean lead sound, you can dial this in for just a bit of a boost there as well. So I'll try to demonstrate that. So like. Got that going. Maybe that's a, a little extreme, but. Not bad. So we'll play around with some of these uh, settings. So level is kind of like where it is. Attack, basically what that does is it sort of dials out how hard you're hitting the string. So if you have a really strong attack and you want the, the compressor to kind of phase a little bit of that out and sort of grab the chord and bring it out, you'll need to make adjustments to this. So I'll try to give you an idea of what we're talking here. If I dial the attack down, dial that attack up, it really is taking out a lot of those picking nuances. It's kind of grabbing those and sort of squashing them a bit. At least to my ear, the way I hear it, uh, that's what it's doing.
find that the attack sounds kind of the best, middle of the line a little bit. And then the sustain, this is really where this effect makes a big difference. Is how it really grabs those notes and brings them out there. Hear that? How it sort of grabbed it and now it's it's got that it's got those notes. It's just crazy how it works. I like it about right there. Kind of high. I like it to really just squash it and grab it and, and get it in there. I know those are real technical terms. Where compressors are also fun is putting them after a wah, but before your distortions and overdrives and things like that. So with that going on, let's add in the, uh, I've got a uh, Nobles Overdrive Special with a three band EQ. Uh, and this is kind of my rig. This is what I like. You know, this is, this is what I use. But let's just add I don't know, a splash of delay, we got the reverb back in the signal, let's add the overdrive, and then let's hear this compressor on and off, kind of in a rig, you know what I mean, how it would sound, so... <laughs> Alright, this is without the compressor. With the compressor. Hear those kind of like weird bassy overtones that you get in the signal with that compressor? I think those are kind of neat and uh, they do add a subtlety that you either love or you hate. Um, they do sound, compressors do sound good also with, uh, with distortions and stuff. I'll engage this Caprid. This is a Ren and Cuff Caprid. Uh, I think it's a cool pedal. I really enjoy these Boss pedals and these older ones are great. Uh, they're well put together. They sound wonderful. I'm a big fan of Vintage Boss. Um, so this is a pedal that lives on my board and, and a lot of times really does kind of stay on because it, in my opinion, really does even out um, a lot of those cleans. All right, so again, here's the Mark V. Uh, nothing going on, just... That's not bad, but I'm telling you, it really changes the way that the guitar responds to you and into the front of the amp when that compressor is engaged. It, in my opinion, gives it a very unique sound. <laughs> So let's take that compressor, it's engaged, and uh, I'm going to dial back the tone to get on the bridge pickup. Let's bring in this Ren and Cuff Caprid distortion. All right, no compressor. With the compressor.
That's why compressors are neat. I mean, this, this particular distortion is kind of a Big Muff clone, a Ram's Head Big Muff clone, and they already have that kind of sustainy sound, but compressor really adds a lot of flexibility to an existing guitar rig. Uh, I feel that people that like cleans, especially articulate lines that they're trying to play, if you're a country player or if you're a blues player, you need a compressor. And um, that aside, I mean, I, I think the Ball CF2 is a great compressor. Um, they are expensive. Uh, it's, a, it's considered a vintage pedal, so most people want, you know, a good 130, 150 bucks for them, so they're kind of a bit on the pricey side. And there are tons of other compressors out there, um, but I just thought I would show off this Boss CS2 because it's kind of one of my go-to compressors uh, that I really enjoy. And it's just wonderful for getting just that stuff that just goes for days, especially with distortions and overdrives. It can really add some flexibility. And those compressors do a great job of just driving the front end of the amp with a distortion or overdrive-like compression capability that you would get out of these type of pedals, but it stays clean, which is great. So the best way to think of a compressor, in my opinion, is kind of like a overdrive, a, a overdrive pedal in terms of the compression, but for cleans. So if you're into cleans, you got to have a compressor, in my opinion, because it really changes the front end of the amp and how it reacts to you as a player. And in my opinion, you can get some really special sounds out of a compressor. And in particular, this is definitely one of my favorite compressors is the CS2. And you can get stupid, wicked, crazy things like this. Kind of cool if you ask me. Anyway. Guys, thanks for watching. We hope you learned something. Um, let me know if you like this kind of format, if you like the way I test uh, this stuff, if you'd like less stuff in the chain, or if you want a different configuration for me to run this stuff in, let me know. and We can make accommodations to these videos to make you guys happy. Uh, just let us know what you want to see. Because ultimately, this is about you, not about me. Um, I'm not making these videos for my own health. I'm making them to help the end user. So if you're not getting what you need out of them, let me know and we'll change it somehow to make you guys happy. But that's the CS2. I think it's a great pedal. I think it's got some really cool sounds, and uh, I think it's definitely a good buy if you can find one in decent condition. Guys, thanks for watching today's video. Again, remember we have uh, videos coming out every Monday and Friday. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Is there a special effect uh, that you love that you want me to check out, or a guitar you want me to demo, or an amplifier you want to hear? Let me know. We'll try to accommodate it. Guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.